Hey everybody, today I'm going to be making a king size platform bed frame. So the biggest reason we're doing a platform bed frame today is because um, it eliminates the need for box springs altogether. So you'll just be have the, you'll have the mattress on top of the frame, and that's it. Real simple, keeps it low to the ground, gives you more space for a headboard and other things. Um, the challenges today is going to be that I'm going to be making a two-piece bed frame. The reason being is because if I were to make a full um, king-size bed frame, it would not fit up our stairs. So I'm making a two-piece bed frame um, and carrying. The pieces up separately and then I'm going to use bolts to bolt the frame together. So let's get to it. Sometimes you're going to have imperfections in the plywood that you're using. In this case here, I've got my 2x6 and it's hard to see in the camera, but there's a little ridge right here where the mill um, didn't cut it perfectly. When you get imperfections in your wood, sometimes you just like want to try to hide it on the inside of whatever you're building. In this case, the bed frame, I want to hide that on the inside of the bed frame or um, on a part where it's going to be covered by something else. See here I've got a gap in this wood right here. Sometimes when you screw the screw in, it'll suck that up a little bit. Um, and it could do it in this case, but uh, sometimes you got a disturbing board and the screw doesn't work. So what I'm going to use today is a C-clamp. I can put the C-clamp over this, tighten it down, and it'll suck that in and then I can screw my screws in there. And then I'll have it have this gap closed down.
which will give you about to here on it and that would also be a good option because then when your feet are going across and you're sitting over the bed um, your legs might not hit the 2x8 uh, because the 2x5 is shorter it'll come down right here so it comes down to personal preference depending on how tall you want the size of your bed um, in our case we want this size tall to keep stuff from shifting around Okay, here's just about one half of it done. The only thing it's missing is uh, the plywood, which I have right there, um, to go on the inside there. And I'm gonna cut that out when I get the other one done. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Now all I gotta do is do this a, a second time and made them up and uh, make sure that the line where they made up right here is uh, as flush as possible. And then what I'm gonna do is I have brackets that I'm gonna put in there. So what I'll do is I'll have these brackets on the inside, like that. So that way when I put the two halves together upstairs in our bedroom, screw them together, and then I'll have bolts in the middle. Squeeze the two halves together so they never come apart. Stick the two pieces of plywood down, and that's pretty much the, uh, the frame. And then uh, come up with a headboard. I'll have to measure and uh, see how tall I can make it, but yeah. Let's do it. put together the next step right now is, is to paint it um, I'm gonna take it apart and do it in sections the headboard comes off from the other side plywood just lifts up and then the frame comes off in two pieces I'm gonna do some wood putty in the screw holes um, to make it look more um, finished on the ends maybe round and sand some stuff off and then I'll be ready to assemble it upstairs in the bedroom so I went with the bare marquee paint got this from Home Depot um, it's probably their highest quality paint they offer in the bear. Um, reason being is because it's supposed to only do uh, one coat, hide in one coat. It's backwards on the camera, but whatever. <laughs> um, the color on this one is uh, a cotton gray, which is basically an off-white. Um, trying to go for that antique look a little bit. Um, and it's a, it's a flat matte paint, so um, should turn out pretty good.
All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, Chris Peters DIY. Uh, if you like what I do on this channel, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all my videos. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.